There are a lot of wetlands in the world. Although they don't look like much, they actually hide a lot of secrets. We've discovered a lot of intriguing things in these murky waters. From bog bodies to the abandoned Disney park, here are the 15 strangest things found in wetlands. Number 15. Old Croggan Man Mummies are terrifying, but bog bodies? They're different, and the Old Croggan Man is just the first of the many bog bodies discovered in the past century. Compared to the mummies and sarcophagi in Egypt, the remains of the Old Croggan Man are arguably far scarier. I mean, just take a look at this. The bog body was discovered in County Offaly in Ireland. Despite the well-preserved remains, only half of his body was recovered. It was believed that the lower body of the man was hacked off by a machine, and his lower limbs remain missing to this day. Based on the analysis, the old Krogan man was a person with an elite status. He was about six feet tall, and although this might not be considered of tall stature in the world today, the old Krogan man most likely towered over most people during the Celtic Iron Age. Unlike most people at the time, the Krogan man had well-manicured hands, a sign that he didn't perform much manual labor. Another piece of evidence that he lived comfortably was a braided leather armband found on one of his biceps. The accessory symbolized the sun, a symbol of kingship in Ireland. Aside from this symbol, analysis of the man's nails revealed that he was eating lavishly for the last four months of his life, and perhaps even more. Unlike the common and often bland meals at the time, the man consumed meat, cereals, and milk. However, something made the Krogan man incredibly strange. In the last moments of his life, the Krogan man was decapitated and cut in half. There were also holes in his arms left behind by intertwined hazel branches which pierced through them. This was a sign that he was violently bound before he was killed to ensure that he wouldn't go anywhere. As if it's not enough, the old Krogan man was also stabbed in the chest and struck in the neck. We still don't know the reason why he was killed in the first place. Was he a cruel king who was sacrificed by his people? Or was he a benevolent ruler who recognized the need of his people and voluntarily let himself be sacrificed? In the past, people sacrificed their own to appease their gods. It's possible that during his reign, the harvest wasn't fruitful, and so the current king was sacrificed and replaced by another ruler. Before we go on, like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now. Number 14. Windover Skeletons Who would have thought that the construction of a new housing estate on a marsh in Windover, Florida would yield more than 150 prehistoric skeletons? The Windover bodies were perfectly preserved remains that were accidentally discovered in North America. Shortly after the discovery, the site quickly became a popular archaeological site. The murky, highly acidic water of the bog hid secrets that date back to the Stone Age. In the small pond, generation after generation of an interrelated clan returned their dead to nature. Excavating and recovering the remains was challenging. To safely recover the prehistoric remains, millions of gallons of water needed to be removed from the marsh. As the water level decreased, skull after skull began revealing itself. Unlike the incredibly acidic bogs in Europe, the Windover peat was non-acidic. For this reason, bones didn't decompose quickly, and a protective layer allowed the skeletal remains to last for thousands of years. After analyzing the remains, experts found out that they belonged to the early inhabitants of America, who descended from people who had crossed over from Asia around the end of the Ice Age. It seemed that for these people, burying the dead with offerings, ornaments, weapons, and jewelry was considered the norm. For them, Windover was a sacred place that they might have even considered a gateway to the next life. Number 13. Ill Girl Imagine discovering something that looks like wood, and after looking at it closer, you realize that it had a human face and human hair. Sounds like a pretty horrifying experience, huh? This is exactly what happened to Dutch laborers working in a bog in 1897. It was then that they discovered the 2,000-year-old mummified corpse of the Ill Girl. The blackened corpse looked like a piece of wood, but after seeing flaming red hair, the workers realized that they discovered a human corpse. They immediately contacted the authorities who coordinated with experts to learn more about the corpse. It turned out that the woman was a 16-year-old girl who died between 54 BC and 128 AD. The woman's body was well-preserved, 
and so was the piece of evidence that revealed the reason why she died. A rope was left around her neck, and a stab wound was discovered near her collarbone. All of these points led to the realization that she was sacrificed in a human sacrifice ritual. Thanks to her well-preserved remains, a facial reconstruction was made possible, enabling us to get a glimpse of what people in Europe looked like thousands of years ago. Number 12. Swamp Gas Swamp gas is something incredibly frightening, despite the fact that you can't see it. Swamp gas, also known as bog gas, is a mixture of methane and other compounds, including hydrogen sulfide, carbon dioxide, and phosphine. For so long, the origin of swamp gas remained a mystery. It was usually observed in peat bogs, swamps, and mudflats where stagnant water and organic matter can be found. Swamp gas is usually odorless and colorless, but it's highly flammable. People in the past shared stories about seeing blue flames shooting out of swamps and marshes during the night. This might be one of the reasons why these bodies of water were seen as sacred and gateways to the afterlife. It's also possible that will-o'-the-wisps, jack-o'-lanterns, and balls of fire seen in the forest originated from the fire lit up by the flammable swamp gas. However, we're still unsure whether this is the case. Fortunately, scientists today can offer a better explanation. Experts believe that moss and organic matter in the water produce and trap methane. For this reason, it's not really a good idea to light something up, especially when you're near a swamp. You just might accidentally blow yourself up. Number 11. Cashel Man This is the Cashel Man, or at least what was left of him. This bog body was discovered in 2011 in Cashel Bog in County Laos, making him one of the most recent bog bodies discovered. Unlike other bog bodies, the Cashel Man was preserved quite badly. Instead of a person, he looked like a squashed and crumpled lump of leather. In 2000 BC, about 4,000 years ago in the Bronze Age, the Cashel Man was deliberately killed, and quite violently at that. The Cashel Man was most likely between 25 and 40 years old when he died, and just like most bog bodies, he was sacrificed, most likely by his own people for the greater good. He died violently to ensure that the gods would bless the land with rain and protect the people from plagues and disease. Number 10. Elling Woman Among the bog bodies discovered in Europe, the Elling Woman is one of the most talked about. Her body was discovered in the early 1900s in a peat bog in Denmark. The farmer who found the woman was in the process of digging peat. At first, the farmer believed he simply chanced upon the body of a massive dog or another four-legged animal that drowned in the bog. But it soon became apparent that that wasn't the case. He realized what he really discovered in the bog after he noticed the woolen belt around the body's waist. It was then that the farmer knew he was holding a human body. Because of the past discoveries, he wasn't worried that he was looking at a murder victim. Instead of contacting the police, he called workers at the National Museum of Denmark. He immediately knew that he discovered something of archaeological importance. At the time, there wasn't much scientists could find out about the Elling woman. Although they were eager to learn more about her, technology at the time wasn't enough to reveal the details they wanted to know about her. Fortunately, the body's preservation allowed her to be analyzed decades later when new technology and tools were available. It was only around the 1970s that scientists determined that the body belonged to a woman. She was around 25 years old at the time of her death, and radiocarbon dating revealed that she lived between the 4th and 2nd centuries BC, a period considered to be the Iron Age in the northwestern region of Europe. The sliding on her neck revealed that she was hanged, and just like others, she was a human sacrifice who became the last resort to appease the gods. In reality, however, their kin was fighting a losing battle against the ever-changing Earth. If there is one thing that became incredibly significant after the discovery of the Elling woman was her Iron Age hairstyle. Because of the acidic and anaerobic peat bog, most of the bones of the bodies dropped into it almost immediately disappear, but the rest remain, including hair. Number 9. Graubel Man The Graubel Man is one of the many corpses recovered from the countless bogs across Europe. Unfortunately, his story is similar to the corpses recovered before him. The man lived during the Iron Age and was sacrificed during a ritual. I don't know if it was considered a privilege to be offered to the gods, but human sacrifice seemed to be a popular concept in the past. I'll be honest with you, the Graubel Man is among the most horrifying bog bodies ever discovered. Number 8. 
Arden Woman the Arden Woman is a horrifying bog body discovered in the Bredmos Bog in the parish of Stor Arden in Denmark. It was discovered in 1942, and after careful analysis, it turned out to be the body of a woman who lived in 1400 BC. She died at the young age of 25, but the cause of her death remains unknown. Unlike other bog bodies that show signs of violence, there wasn't anything that indicated a violent death in the remains of the Arden Woman. Despite her lack of tragic backstory, she was still among the most popular bog bodies because of her intricate hairstyle. When she was discovered, her dark blonde hair, which turned red after years of being in the bog, was braided into two pigtails and wrapped around her head. A prehistoric cap secured it, and amazingly, the article of clothing remains intact to this day. Number 7. Boromosa Bodies Between 1946 and 1948, Three bog bodies were discovered in the Boromosa peat bog in Himmerland, in the country of Denmark. The first one was discovered by peat diggers in the southernmost part of the peat bog. Because of the well-preserved remains, the workers panicked, thinking they found a murder victim. Succeeding forensic analysis revealed that the man died a long time ago. The man died around 700 BCE, after being strangled to death. What's more, his skull also showed signs of trauma and his femur was also deliberately broken. The following year, another body was discovered near the location where the first corpse was found. The body belonged to a woman lying face down in the peat bog. The woman most likely lived around 400 BCE, and she suffered the same tragic death as the man found before her. The year after, another body was discovered, now known as Boromosa III. She was between 20 to 35 years old when she died. The scalp and hair on one side of her head were separated from the rest of her body, but it was believed that this was something done by diggers when she was first discovered. The analysis didn't reveal anything about the cause of her death, and this remains a mystery to this day. Number 6. T-34 Tank In the Second World War, a Russian T-34 tank was taken by the Germans. It was repainted and was used as their own during battles. After all, this tank was a valuable weapon for the Soviets in the past. It was an indispensable addition to their troops and guaranteed massive damage to the enemy lines. In the past, tens of thousands of these tanks were produced by the Soviets, and many of them were either destroyed or abandoned on the battlefield. In the early 2000s, one of these historic tanks was discovered in the unlikeliest place, in the murky waters of a peat bog. It was discovered 12 feet underwater. The tank needed to be pulled to land and the soft soil around the body of water made the task difficult. Overall, 116 pieces of ammunition were recovered from the tank, and it was in surprisingly good condition. The T-34 was taken to a war museum where experts managed to start the diesel engine without replacing any of the parts. This goes to show how durable T-34 tanks are. By 2007, the tank was fully restored, and to this day remains a significant part of history. Number 5. Britain's Dirty Secret In 2021, the internet was made aware of Britain's dirty secrets. Several toxic pits near residential areas were discovered, and the government chose to remain quiet about it. Acid tar lagoons were found throughout the country. Most of them were the result of unmanaged chemicals dumped by massive oil refineries and companies in the 1960s and 70s. The big problem is that the pits were incredibly hazardous and were considered threats to human health. One particular pit located at Hool Bank was full of more than 60,000 tons of toxic waste that was left there for decades. Just imagine how nasty that is. The worst part is that if these pits continue to get ignored, they might pose a threat to the nearby environment. Scientists fear that as the Earth's climate turns warmer, these toxic swamps might turn worse. In fact, it might not be long until several countries find themselves in the same predicament. This goes to show that proper waste and chemical disposal should be the priority of big companies. And now it's time for today's topic. What he found near a swamp shocked the whole world. When a man in Asia posted this photo on the internet, everyone was incredibly bewildered. In this photo, you can see several fish trapped in the palm tree. The trunk was left submerged in a shallow pond for months, and when the man decided to remove it, this was the sight that he saw. Needless to say, he was incredibly surprised. Curious, he threw the trunk back into the murky water and checked on it several days later. Surprisingly, 
he found more fish wriggling inside the tree trunk. He claimed that he might have discovered a new way of catching fish, but others weren't quite convinced by his discovery. Several people claimed that the entire thing was a hoax. It doesn't make sense for fish to grow inside a trunk submerged in shallow water, and some claimed that the man deliberately placed the fish to gain fame on the internet. A hoax or a newfound discovery? As always, comment down below with the hashtag today's topic and let us know your opinion about what we just showed on screen. With that said, let's keep things moving. Number 4. Tulland Man When the Tulland Man was discovered in a peat bog in north-central Denmark in 1950, people thought it was the body of someone who died recently. When authorities first arrived at the scene and saw the Tulland Man's remains, they believed that they were looking at a recent murder victim. It was incredibly understandable, as the man's face and body were still recognizable despite the fact that more than a millennium had passed since he was dropped in the acidic bog. The Tullin man was between 30 to 40 years old when he perished between 405 and 380 BCE. According to archaeologists, the man was hanged before his body was dropped into a sleeping position in the peat-cutting pit. Thanks to the Tullin man's incredibly well-preserved remains, Archaeologists had the chance to learn more about the meals and lifestyle of people in Europe thousands of years ago. Meals in the past were incredibly simple. People usually ate simple porridge made with barley, flax, and pale persicaria, a kind of weed that was abundant around the area. If they got lucky, they would also have added a bit of bony fish. His intestines also revealed that life in the past was riddled with hardships and parasites. Lots of them. In fact, the man was infected with three kinds of parasites, including tapeworms, which he most likely contracted by drinking contaminated water and meat that wasn't properly cooked. Just like most bog bodies, archaeologists believe that the Tullin man was a victim of human sacrifice. But despite the gruesome and horrific way he was killed, his face still showed a peaceful expression. It might be possible that he was given hallucinogens or pain relievers before he was deliberately brought to his deathbed. Number 3 biggest bacterium. You might have seen what bacteria look like under the microscope. They're considered microorganisms for a reason, and they can't be seen by the naked eye. However, a bacterium that was recently discovered surprised the scientific community. As it turned out, there's a bacterium out there in the world that can grow up to astonishing lengths. Well, astonishing for a microorganism. In the red mangrove swamp in Guadalupe in the Lesser Antilles are small strands the size of an eyelash. It's the biggest single-celled bacterium in the world. This bacterium is white in color and lives on rotting leaves in the murky and brackish waters of the swamp. Unlike other bacteria in the world, this organism can easily be observed with a naked eye. What makes this bacterium special is the fact that it's the biggest single-celled bacterium we have ever discovered. In the past, We've seen giant bacteria, but they're composed of thousands of cells. For this reason, biologists all around the world consider this bacterium incredibly special. The microbe was officially named Theo Margarita Magnifica. Its name derived from the pearl-like beads of sulfur found inside it, and its size. So you can visualize it better. This bacterium is like a human as tall as Mount Everest in the world of bacteria. Fortunately, despite the fact that this bacterium is incredibly big, it's not really harmful or deadly. But of course, scientists follow strict protocols when studying new bacteria and microorganisms, so you can rest assured that a new outbreak won't happen anytime soon. Number 2. Lindo Man More than 38 years ago, peat cutters working in the Cheshire countryside discovered what he initially thought was a strange piece of wood along the conveyor belt. Upon removing it from the conveyor belt, however, he realized that it was something else. Instead of a piece of wood, he was holding the remains of a human leg. It was how the Lindo Man was discovered. It was recognized as one of the most significant archaeological discoveries of the 1980s, and it quickly garnered the attention of the entire world. Just like other bog bodies, the remains of the Lindo Man were incredibly well preserved. For nearly 2,000 years, the Lindo Man's body was preserved by the acidic bog. In fact, his remains were incredibly intact and his distinctive furrowed brow with close-cropped hair and beard is recognizable to this day. The discovery of the Lindo Man achieved the possibility of seeing the face of a person from Britain's prehistoric past. What made the Lindo Man special and unique among the many bog bodies discovered before was his life. 
He was 25 years old when he died and stood at around 5 feet 6 inches tall. Despite dying at a young age, the Lindo man looked like he didn't do any heavy work during his life. His fingernails were well manicured, and it was a rare thing to see for people who did manual work back in the day. It's still unclear whether the Lindo man was killed or if he willingly sacrificed himself for their religion. Number 1. Abandoned Disney Park Guests of all ages love Disney World. After all, it's the happiest place on earth, and it's been visited by generations and generations of families. It's filled with your favorite characters, exciting rides, thrilling attractions, and it's a fun place to create unforgettable memories. However, behind the glory and glamour are also secrets. Because Disneyland is such a magical place, it's natural for them to choose surreal and picturesque locations. Most of the time, their chosen locations require the entire place to be properly maintained, or else it will turn into something like this. What do you think will happen if a water park built on top of a swamp is abandoned for more than an entire decade? Let's just say that the outcome is quite unpleasant. River Country is part of Disney World, or at least it was until it was deemed unusable. River Country was the famous attraction's first water park. Water flowing through the entire location comes from Bay Lake itself, and a filtration system cleans the water before entering the park. It was among the most popular water parks in its heyday. It was Disney World's only water park, so it was expected that many people from around the world would visit it. But when other water parks were opened, River Country slowly became a thing of the past. Bigger, fancier, and better water parks with more thrilling attractions stole all of its visitors away. It was closed for refurbishment in 2001, but it never reopened. Many speculations and rumors naturally formed because of its permanent closure. From brain-eating amoeba, evil spirits, and bad luck, to unreported cases of drowning and death, bad rumors surrounded the area. To this day, we still don't know the truth behind the park's closure, but it's most likely that the park was simply too simple to compete with the newer attractions. Are you scared of swamps yet? Let me know which of these things you found the most interesting in the comments down below. Also, check out our other cool stuff showing up on the screen right now, and I'll see you in the next video. Take care, everybody.